If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a question, comment, suggestion, or maybe you just want to find out more information about the product, you can find the link below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3GameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Amp Wireless REA20 High Power 700 milliwatt Dual Band AC Wi-Fi Range Extender. Your typical green, black, white color themed Amp Wireless box, very informative with pictures as well as features and specifications about it. Now let's see what's inside. Included is a thank you note as well as a reminder and tech support information, a Wi-Fi and Linux tool for your smartphone and tablet devices, an installation CD, a setup guide, and the range extender. They have plastic here on the top. Let me remove that. A stand, three antennas, and the power adapter. Now they have a warning sticker here on the back. To avoid damage, attach the antennas before connecting the power adapter to this device. So let's go ahead and do that. And by the way, each of the antennas are numbered. You can see there's a number on the antenna as well as on the extender. So let me go ahead and attach these. And they simply screw into place. Make sure that you tighten them well and then you can reposition the antennas as you like. Now let's go through the features and specifications first and then I'll have a closer look at it. This is compatible with just about any router that is currently on the market. The wireless standard here, well, it supports all of them. 802.11a, B, G, N, as well as A, C. The frequency band, there is two, and you can use them simultaneously if you want to, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Now, Wi-Fi speed will vary tremendously, and coverage also with that will vary tremendously. It really depends on the router, where you have the range extender positioned from the router, the other computer systems, and the other Wi-Fi adapters. Now, where should you locate this range extender? Well, you really want to have it pretty close to the Wi-Fi router, probably I would recommend four to five bars. You want a really good strong signal because you want to broadcast that strong signal. If you have this particular product too far away from the Wi-Fi router that you want to extend, then you're going to extend that poor signal. So keep it fairly close. Now you can use their Wi-Fi and Linux tool for that if you want to, or you could just use your tablet, your smartphone, the signal on that four or five bars, and then go ahead and set this up in that particular position. Now, if you're looking for range with this extender, I would go with the 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. That will give you around 300 megabits per second up and down. If you want speed though, go with the five gigahertz network and that will give you around 867 megabits per second up and down. So what can you expect with range on this? Well, they say up to 10,000 square feet, but that's going to depend, as I already mentioned, on the router, the computers, Wi-Fi, any other kind of Wi-Fi adapters that you're using, as well as the office or home, what's in the way. You know, are you putting the range extender in a basement? Uh, you know, is it being blocked by walls and so on and so forth? So that range will vary. Now, when it comes to extending the Wi-Fi signal, this product has a lot of technology behind it. It has these three detachable 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, high gain, five dBi antennas. And on the inside has two 2.4 gigahertz amplifiers two five gigahertz amplifiers, as well as four low noise amplifiers. Now, thankfully, this product is super secure. You can choose from a number of wireless securities, WEP, WPA, WPA2, WPA mixed, or WPS. You can also do scheduling on this specific day and time. You can as well adjust the coverage control from 15% to 100%. And that is good because sometimes you don't want to broadcast the Wi-Fi signal 
too far. Now this product has tons of different settings that you can tweak as well as lots of features. Some of the key ones include guest wireless networks. You can have up to eight. So if you have your friends over, there's no problem there. Parental control. So you can, you know, have uh, website blocking as well as user access controls. So Mac and IP filtering. Now the overall styling and build quality as well as the fit and finish on this is exceptional. It has this gray white color theme. It is all plastic. Here on the front top is their logo and wireless. You've got a number of LEDs here as well showing you the you know Wi-Fi activity, the power and the different connections up to five that you can have as well as the USB connection. At the very front they have lots of ventilation holes. At the back they have an easy setup WPS button, also a reset button, USB port. This is a gigabit port you've got four others this is the fifth one here are the other four gigabit ports and the power adapter gets connected here at the bottom they have more ventilation two rubber feet as well as holes here to mount the stand and on this sticker shows the model number serial number mac addresses for the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks as well as the wps pin so if you choose to use the stand it simply gets connected like so super easy just snap it into place and voila now I just wanted to quickly show you the LEDs because in some cases the LEDs are too bright but that's not the case here setup is super easy of course remember to install the three antennas on the extender attach the power adapter and when the router is fully booted up go ahead and pretty much in any web browser either on a computer system tablet or smartphone in the address bar type in setup dot ampedwireless.com. Once you do so, you'll see this. You'll need to scan. So it's found my router and I can choose to connect to either a 5 gigahertz home network or a 2.4 gigahertz home network. I'm going to go ahead and click on the 2.4 gigahertz home network to give me extended range. And then I'll click next. Then I'll enter my security key. And once you click next, you'll be on this screen where you can choose to clone the settings or you can manually go ahead and enter them if you want to, including security keys. And once you click next, it will take some time to apply the settings and then it will connect to the home network. And finally, they show you how to connect using the different operating systems, whether it be Windows 8, Windows XP 27, the Apple iPhone or iPad, even Android devices. Now let's go through all of the settings. First of all, the Wi-Fi settings, home network, extended network, security, Wi-Fi protected setup, user access, Wi-Fi coverage, access schedule, and advanced settings. You have the same settings really within the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi settings, home network, extended network, security, protected setup, user access, Wi-Fi coverage, access schedule, as well as advanced settings. This is USB storage. Within network settings, you've got IP settings, wired port routing, and within management, you've got device status, network status, system clock, system logs. You can update the firmware, which I would recommend immediately. You can also save and load the settings and assign the password, which is strongly recommended as well. Since this is a rather long video review, I'm going to tie things up rather quickly here and say that this product actually works. A lot of range extenders out there don't work too well. This one does and you know it has to do with all the technologies and features that's built in. It performs extremely well. It's compatible with pretty much every single Wi-Fi device that is on the planet. It's super easy to set up and it comes with a one-year warranty. Without a doubt this is a 100 percent kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. How do you think this product stacks up? To vote, head on over to 3dgameman.com and while you're there, check out the pricing.